okay? Sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I just, uh... Just everyone's in the holiday spirit. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I kiss you, but, uh... Yeah? Something tells me I don't think Kevin would like it. Forget about Aubrey. What? I mean... She probably wouldn't go for it either. No. No, definitely not. For this ring as a symbol of my love and devotion, let this ring be a reminder of my love for you. John and Natalie, Stop! I now pronounce you. Stop this wedding. Is everything all right? Does something happen with Cole? No, that's not why I'm here. Uh, you're so good to look out for him. I'll just say the word. I will. I will. I hope Cole can always count on you. It's going to be a lot harder when you have your own family to look after. I, I won't disappear. Neither will I. We're in the middle of something here. I can see that. But this is important. Really? Marty would show up at the courthouse? She's been after Natalie ever since Cole got arrested. It was so not Natalie's fault. Hey, I didn't say it was rational. Still, for Marty to crash the wedding, I mean, that would be so low. I don't know. Marasco, you want to tell me about busting up weddings? <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, that was different because I loved you. But besides, it didn't work. You married her anyway. One of my bigger mistakes. Agreed. <laughs> they haven't come up for air yet. I think that's still the same kiss. Wow, impressive. If that were his fiance, what my dear old boss up to? Whoa. Yeah. I, uh, I'm engaged. I can't be doing this. It's my fault. I got a little carried away. Come on, it wasn't just you. <laughs> wow, that was, that was out of control. What am I yeah. thinking? Come on, you're mad at Layla because you saw her in that French magazine all over her boss. <sighs> I can't 
can't believe this is how I'm stuck with you. What are you talking about? This is a great night. Layla and I are supposed to be planning our wedding. Yeah, and I'm supposed to be married to Mr. Perfect right now. I was a psycho killer. Oh, God, why didn't I figure that out before the wedding? Well, at least he's dead. He can't hurt you anymore. Yeah. He's gone. All he left me was a stupid box. Hey, Sam. You're supposed to be in bed. So are you, what are you doing? Field testing my Christmas loot. Can I try? No, but you can watch. What are you gonna do? Bust open the serial killer's mystery box. Oh, they finally caught their breath. That could have been a record. You think Layla knows? Um, I'm sure she will once you tell Adriana. I don't tell Adriana things anymore. If you say so. Because it's true. You also told me that you were passing on Kelly's case. I did. I told her that I didn't want to screw things up for Joey and uh, Aubrey. So when she came over here earlier and tried to drag you away, what was that about? Okay, I, I turned down Kelly at first, but then she begged me. And you couldn't resist her charm. No, she, she was holding a barbell to my neck. Look Char over there at Joey. Wasn't exactly you could the learn something. He has no problem saying no to Kelly. Okay. I guess Blair gave up her no man policy. Yeah, and I guess Christian and Layla have called off their engagement. Oh, I don't think so. Did you see what I just saw? Yeah, it was one kiss. That doesn't necessarily mean anything, does it? Really? Kelly, come on. I mean, that kiss was something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're telling me you would break off your engagement with Aubrey if you saw her kissing another guy? Aubrey would never do that. Are you out of your mind? Completely. I can't even think straight, but uh, you can fix that. Stay away from me. What the hell are you doing here? Bernie, I understand this must be important, but it, we're almost no, it, done. It, so can't, it, it can't wait. Can't wait till after the wedding. Why not? You'll understand when I tell you. Marty. I promise it won't take long. But there's some news I really need to deliver. You have a lot of faith in Aubrey. Yeah, I do. Why wouldn't I? I don't know. I mean, is there some reason why I shouldn't trust her? It's just an observation, that's all. I can see you trust Aubrey. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have jumped on your throat. I'm just, I'm getting really sick of people assuming the worst about her. Okay, who's doing that? Put it on. Don't wait if you take yours off. I'm not playing. Neither am I. Why do you think I flew all the way from Europe? I don't know why you would do something so incredibly stupid. Oh, sure you do. You need to just relax, babe. It's kind of hard to do with you here. I missed you. Is that a crime? You could ruin everything. You saw my dad. He was great with you, but Aubrey was invisible. I didn't notice that. Really? My dad is convinced that Aubrey is a gold digger. You know, I got the impression from what Aubrey said that she has her own money. Exactly. So that's not true? I guess. We don't talk about money. She's not interested. Right? But my dad just won't give her a chance. So he was like that all during Christmas? Yeah, pretty much. He took a stab at being civil, but that won't really continue. You know what? He thinks he's protecting you. Oh, okay. My dad just wants me to be happy. And when I tell him that Aubrey, I'm in love with her, and that she makes me happy, he doesn't believe me. I mean, who, who is he? Hell, who is anybody to tell me what makes me happy? Hey, I know the plan, and I know what I'm doing. I waited until the dope left. I was careful, unlike you. I've been very careful. Who caught that picture of us in that magazine, Matt and all? Where would our plan be now if I hadn't warned you? Anybody could have seen it. I'm sorry I unloaded on you. No, 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 no. You 
didn't, you didn't. Oh, it must seem like the only thing I talk about is Aubrey. You know what? She's important to you. I still feel like I'm being a bad friend. No, you kept me company tonight. Big friend points for you, mister. I'm just sorry Aubrey got sick. I mean, we all could have hung out. But I really want you to get to know her, Kel. I do, too. I want to know everything about her. Yeah, I should probably actually check up on her. <laughs> Knowing Aubrey, she's probably done with that magazine and bored already. Yeah. <laughs> that magazine. I took care of it. I thought you missed the copy. That's it. You're welcome. It's your fault there was a picture taken at all. You're the one who insisted we go to that club. It was your last night. You needed a couple body shots before you came here. It was the opening. You knew there would be photographers there. It's your fault they were looking at us. If you weren't so hot. <sighs> oh, if I had missed my plane. We could have come up with another excuse. You didn't have to rush over here. It's part of the job. You promised the job wouldn't come between us. It won't. It already has. It's Joey. Just let it ring. I can't. Hey. Damn it. Hey, is somebody with you? I was going to walk away from the assignment and the big check that comes with it. So is that what convinced you? The money? No, but Kelly would have just gone to another PI. So she made me a deal. I give her one morning, and if I don't find any dirt on Aubrey, she'd let it go. Did you convince her? Hey, do you have your lock picking tools? What superhero doesn't? I don't know what that means, but good. We have to break into Aubrey's room. That's not. She's not picking up. Good. Good? Yes, good. This is not the moment to try and fix things. But time isn't embarrassed anyway. I mean, she's... She's asleep. Yeah, after a long, hot night with Stephanie. Oh, now that's a great way to start the conversation. You're lucky she didn't pick up. We gotta make things right. This isn't the time to do it, and you're in no shape to do that. I'm fine. Oh, excuse me. I guess I'm the only one that said one too many. Well, after the year you've had, I think you deserve it. That's right. This is one right home. Sure. Okay. You are such a good friend. So are you. <laughs> Tell me the truth. What? Do you think Layla and I have a shot? Oh, don't ask me a question like that. Marriage is a sucker bit. <laughs> Marty, this is a wedding, and the ceremony is almost over. John. John, I only want the best for you. Thank you. I thought we'd come to an understanding. We did. We did. We did come to an understanding, and I have nothing more to say to you and John. Good. Let's finish. But Jessica... Jessica really needs to hear me out. 